In this video, I'm going to fix a 500 server error or maybe the white screen of death for you when trying to update extensions in Joomla. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 185. Back after a week off. Last week, I ended up down the taxman rabbit hole and uh, ran out of time to make a video. Anyways, I'm back. And uh, so today's episode is going to be a little bit different because instead of just having a tip or something I can show you quickly, I actually have a, a client site, my friend site, the updater in Joomla. Uh, I'm trying to update extensions and I get a 500 error, a white screen of death uh, in some browsers. And so I'm going to fix that here and hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, I, it's all part of maintaining your site stuff breaks and uh, I, I think I know what's going on. So. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Today's video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site while you're there. Check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you will get your first month free. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen here. You see we're in the back end of my friend's site and uh, there's a whole bunch of things to update here. It's a long story, lots of things going on in this site. It's a big site, but um, uh, I'm just filtering for sites that uh, for uh, extensions that have K-U-N in them for Kanina. And I'm going to just go here and update the Kanina, Kanina latest module. When I click on there and then click update, oh, it says I have to make a collection a selection first. That's because I, in practicing, went from the air and then clicked back to the screen. So we'll refresh it. Now we'll check, click uh, Kanina latest module and we'll go update. And you'll see HTTP error 500 is unable to handle this request right now. So the first thing that you do when you get the white screen of death when you're working with Joomla is click back let's go into configuration so global configuration system global sorry system global configuration and we're going to turn on error reporting in the server setting and right here we will do that error reporting we'll switch it to development now if you ever your site's ever broken and you can't get into the admin area go into the configuration.php uh, file in your Joomla install change error reporting to development and then you will uh, you will get the effect that we're hoping to have right now so I'm going to save and close this now I'm going to go to extensions manage and update and then I'm going to again go to Kanina latest module now this is just a, a just a little error in a couple of plugins that I have there. That's not what the problem is. We'll go to Kanina latest module and we will click update. And now instead of getting the 500 error or the white screen of death, uh, and it depends on which browser, I'm using Brave uh, browser right now, it's Chromium based. We can read here and see that uh, warning require uh, blah, 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 components com virtue mark helpers config.php here's another one com virtual mart helpers config failed to open stream no such file or directory in and we see smart drive test plugin system vm loader plugin update vm loader plugin uh, plugin update.php so uh in turning on this error i'm reminded that recently we uninstalled virtual mart from this site because we're using j2 store for selling courses on this site uh, together partnered with uh, uh, joined in with with Moodle so uh, as soon as I see that there's stuff that uh, Joomla is still looking for in Virtumart I realize that uninstalling Virtumart did not uninstall everything or every reference that I need uninstalled and so uh, that's my clue to go looking to remove whatever else is left of Virtumart that this is looking for and that's probably going to solve my problem and so that's what we'll do right now uh, in maintaining this site so um, well, I'm going to click uh, here let's just go back to the control panel for the site because I want to leave that error up here for me to read and reference later uh, extensions and uh, manage and let's go to manage 
Now there's a ton of stuff and plugins on this site and uh, so don't hate me because I'm beautiful. But I'm going to just filter uh, for all, all extensions in this manage tool here. And what I'm going to do first of all in uh, the search tool is I'm going to search for V-I-R-T, Virch, part for Virtumart. And we'll search what extensions are still in here that have Virtumart in them. Now there's Joomdal Virtumart integration and Joomdal profile. Now I know that Joomdal is a tool that I use to bridge Joomla and Moodle for selling courses. And so obviously there's something in here for Virtumart that works with that extension. That's not what is breaking this here. It's not any of the, it's not what is named up here. Although uh, Joomla Comdent, you know, that's, that's, that's an old, that's an error to do with something else there. So I'm actually don't need to uninstall these, but you know what? I don't use these either. So I am going to check those and I'm going to uninstall them. And we will get rid of those two things there. Now, one might think, okay, there's nothing with Virtumart in its name. Great, that should solve the problem. And we could go back here and we'll do this. We will click back. We will reload this page because uh, it's a little quirky thing. It, even if something is checked, it doesn't see it as checked. I'll go Kunina latest module. We will update. Nope, still have that error. All right, so back to extensions manage. I looked for things named Virtumart. Let's clear this search. And now let's go into the filter and let's, sorry, let's go to select location. No, select type. No, select folder. Is there a Virtumart folder? Ah, we have VM calculation, VM custom, VM payment, VM shipment, VM user field. So that's all that I see in here for Virtumart but maybe it's one of those things down here that is still causing problems. Of course, when we go back to the error, we see plugin system VM loader. So it's not any, it's probably not any of those, but still I want to clean up Virtumart off of the site. So I could just select these folders one at a time, VM user field and that, uh, well, that. And so we'll see, this looks like, uh, yeah, this is user field. And notice it's from 2018. I'll just click this and uninstall and go OK. All right, so next. So that was VM user field. Now VM calculation. Well, as we uninstall these, they're no longer something in location. And look, this name is VM dash. Oh, I see what we can do here. Let's uninstall. OK. And let's clear this. Let's search for VM dash. Let's just search for VM together. Okay. And oh, now here's a bunch of Virtumart things. Virtumart payment. They're just payment gate uh, payment gateways. And there's a one page checkout. So these are all things that I recognize that have to do with Virtumart. Uh, not rock, rock nav menu. I don't know where that's coming. Oh, VM because it has VM in it. So let's uh, select that VM shipment and over. Yeah, it's for checkout for Virtumart 2. So I think all these VMs will be safe to remove. And we don't need that in there either, that tracking plugin. So I'm going to uninstall all this. Oh, by the way, make sure you back up your site when you're doing this because if you accidentally uninstall something or you break this breaks things further so you can't go in you will want to go back to the previous broken state so you can at least be in and and see what you're doing so i should have said that at the beginning but here we'll uninstall all this leftover virtumart stuff some of it's from other extensions so that's all gone did it fix our problem i'm going to say that it didn't we'll re we'll go back We'll refresh, we'll update the Canina latest module, and we will select update. There you go. That was the problem. One of those leftover plugins was having an impact on Joomla being able to update because it was looking for it. I didn't even pay close attention to the list. I was just getting rid of all the Virtumart stuff and it worked. So now 
problem solved. Oh, the last thing to do, of course, is go to system global configuration. And we will go back to error reporting that set that to none. We will go to the front end of the site. We'll refresh. Ah, the site is working and so is the update system in Joomla. So if you're getting the white screen of death when you're trying to update Joomla, turn on error reporting. Look for what the message is giving you a hint to or specifically. Uh, and in this case, something, uh, part, some, one extension, Virtumart had been uninstalled, but there were still some things lingering around. By the way, pro tip, if you still had this error after this point, and I thought it's going to have to do this, you would want to go onto the file location in your Joomla install and, and manually delete the plugins or whatever it is where the error was being uh, um, generated from. I thought it was going to have to show you that along the way here, but it got fixed. So we'll have to save that for another time. Hey, if this was helpful for you or you need help with your Joomla site, contact me, Tim at Cybersalt.com and um, email me and we'll see if uh, maybe I can help you for free or I'm also available to hire to help with sites as well. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to it. Ring the bell to get notifications. And uh, YouTube thinks there's a bunch of things that would be really great for you to watch next that would be really helpful for you. They're appearing on the screen here or already have. That would be great if you'd watch something. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.